kind of seeing you here. On this fine miniature painting day. Hmm. <laughs> Hi! How's it going, chat? I'm... How's it going, chat? Ah, oh, fuck, that's me! I'm... No, no. Going. Shut up, oh my god. Hi, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! It's it's me! You remember me? <laughs> Hi! Today, we're painting some really, some really, really silly plane. For fun! <laughs> um, I am late. You know, you know, you, you, you guys know me. I always, I always admit when I'm late. I'm always I'm always honest and upfront about when and why I'm late. I'm late today for uh, it's for a very good reason though. I'm late. Um, I was busy eating chalky. <laughs> it's very important. It was very important and it was absolutely worth uh, a couple minutes. <laughs> I have chocolate eggs! I have little chocolate eggs! And they're very yummy, they're very tasty. Um, I'm, and it's not Easter yet. <laughs> uh, so I have I have early little chocolate eggs. Yeah. Uh, they're good. The Kit Kat flavoured chocolate egg. Kinda weird. Um, but they got a little bit- it does- it doesn't- it doesn't taste like Kit Kat. At all. It doesn't taste like Kit Kat. <laughs> It tastes like, like chocolate egg with like some little crunchy bits in it. I guess. <laughs> hey, uh, hello, Bubba. Your voice is cracking. It's dying. Your knees hurt. At the front and the back. You should go see a doctor about that. That doesn't. That's hard to get to. Ew. <laughs> Hippy. Um. Today, I also added a little thing. Look. Look at the thing! <laughs> I had a little, a little thing. Look at that. Go on my leg. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Go down stream so early that Katie was still on the planet. <laughs> damn, Corpse is old. We're, well, damn, we're, we're old. <laughs> New to me, attorney. <gasps> attorney? Yes, how'd it go? Yeah. Discovered a really close war games shop that had some aeronautica stuff. <gasps> In stock? Oh my god. Buy it. Buy all of it. Sell it on the second hand market for big profit. Actually, no. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> a lot of the aeronautica stuff. Let me explain what we're doing first. I'm painting aeronautica. We're playing we're painting some little cow aeronautica planes, which is a game that Games Workshop made that you uh, may or may not have heard of. Um, because it's gone now. Games Workshop killed it! They murdered my they murdered my my giant, my baby. They murdered my baby Aeronautica. <laughs> and ironically, it's probably like the Warhammer I play most often. <laughs> I probably play more Aeronautica than I do 40k and Sigma. It's just so it's so quick and easy. How am I not passing out from yesterday's stream? I slept. <laughs> I slept in between last stream and this stream. I went to bed at about 4 a.m. <laughs> and I woke up um, at like 10.30. <laughs> yeah, I had a good sleep. Yeah. And we had the painting hangout today as well. And I was hanging out and I was working on uni all day. Um, I didn't actually get any painting done today. <laughs> you got second place in the beginner bracket. Hey, sick. You're a beginner? I think I think it's time for you to move out of beginner. You came second. <laughs> cheese! It's cheese in time. So these little planes um, are not in print anymore. Because Games Workshop hates me personally. <laughs> you got 75 bucks! Hell yeah. In, in like gift card or like cash? Or like gift card. And these they may look finished. 
I'm spilling everything. There we go. <laughs> However, it, they have they have some chips. They have chips. Chip. They've chipped. So um, they because uh, the YouTube channel members can decide on uh, on what to do on the poll. <laughs> Once again, we're back to tying the polls, I guess. Uh, we, we <laughs> they couldn't decide, so I decided, and we're chilling, and we're chilling, and I'm I'm I'm. You gotta use the time to fix up my little aeronautical complaints, and I can call them actually done, because I called them done, and then I played some games with them, and then they got chipped, <laughs> um, because I didn't varnish them, and I didn't varnish them because there were a couple of tiny little things I wanted to do. Um, so I'm gonna fix the chipping, and then we're gonna varnish them, and then we're gonna do some oil wash. Yeah! That's the plan. Government drones! Ah! These! They're so cute though! <laughs> they're so cute, just like cats and dogs. Pro dogs are probably government drones, but they're so cute. I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> just like cats. What do they do all day? They just sit there and sleep. They're spying on you. That's the purpose. That's the purpose of cat. And they drain your bank account <laughs> by making, for, may, forcing you to buy food for them. It's, it's the government trying to keep you poor. <laughs> and then they sell your data. Big data. I know because I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm an in, I'm an I'm an industry uh, industry specialist. No, I'm an industry inside. <laughs> Big spy industry. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna grab little brush. Let's see how little brush goes because these planes are very little, <laughs> very itty bitty. Um. So I'm gonna use a very itty bitty brush to paint them. That makes sense. Yes. How is everyone? Um. We finished the collab. We had a collab, if you didn't know, uh, over on Twitch. We did a. Uh, what? Why is the paint not going on? Hold on. Why is my camera? Not Let me focus. <laughs> Because, because, there you go. The paint isn't going on. <laughs> I swear I didn't varnish them. The paint's like that's weird. I think I would. I think I just thinned it down too much. <laughs> Will I be painting the mini as Rainbow Town? No, no, I'm not painting them as Rainbow Town. Not these ones. I'm painting these ones as an actual, real towel color scheme. Um, and I'm actually not sure what what tower set this is um, because on the box the box is messed up. So I have uh, a box of these ones, the these are barracudas, the, the tiny small ones, and I have a box of tiger shark. On the back of the box, you know, like on the back of the box, they've got like pictures of the different color schemes and stuff of the miniatures. Um, they mixed them up. So in one box, it says that this color scheme is like Borkan or something, I don't remember. And then on the other box, it says this scheme is like Viola. And I'm like, what? Which one is it? <laughs> I thought maybe like, oh, it, like, because I don't think Borkan or Viola are this color scheme. Viola is like the classic white red power color scheme. The one on all the box art. Orkan, I'm pretty sure is green. But I thought like, oh maybe maybe the airplanes, maybe the air things are, have different colors. I don't know. <laughs> Face in coffee mug blowing bubbles. <laughs> Gotta prepare on D D today and work on a case. Oh jeez. 
I feel that, dude. I feel like I've got a billion different things to do every day now. Oh, busy, big busy cat. With an empty head. <laughs> back from your extended hiatus from the internet. Oh, welcome back. Oh, it's good to take a break from the internet sometimes. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you again. Yeah. Yes, I don't actually know what color scheme this is. But it is a towel color scheme. Um, are these just five of the same planes? Six, actually? And um, six of the same plane? Yeah. <laughs> I have six barracudas. Six little barracudas. They're not exactly the same. They've got different loadouts. They've got different guns. <laughs> Hello, Gopher Painting. Hi, Daz. This is Aeronautica Imperialis. Yes, yes, yes. Best game. The best game that GW doesn't make anymore. I love it. It's so fun. It's so easy to just pick up and play a game. I love it. I have a little lunchbox container that has all the things I need to play a game. Aeronautica Imperialis. <laughs> so, they killed Aeronautica Imperialis. But they didn't kill all of them. They didn't kill all the planes. Readings from Hungary! Oh my god! What are you doing in Hungary? That's cool. Or do you live in Hungary and you've just never said that before? <laughs> um, they, they haven't killed all of the Aeronautica planes because they bundled Aeronautica and um, Titanicus into Legio Imperialis. Uh, the new, the new tiny Horus Heresy game. Now the problem with that is that there's no Xenos. <laughs> there's no Xeno in the Heresy, the Horus Heresy. So all of the Xeno plan from Aeronautica Imperialis are gone. They have been completely squatted. They do not exist anymore. Um, but you can still get all the Imperial ones, and they actually, and I mean, theoretically Chaos ones, except they never made any Chaos planes, <laughs> which is funny. So upset you can buy any green skins for while, for it while I could. Oh, yes. Yeah, tower aircraft is so cool. I love how, I love how sleek they are. They're like a little pancake. They're so cute. They're adorable. And they look way more aerodynamic than the Imperial boxes. <laughs> the flying boxes of the Imperium. They look like they could actually fly these ones. <laughs> they are still very flat. They are very pancake. Which, I don't know how like practical it is. Like a lot of fighter planes, but not this pancake. <laughs> Before I don't even know like the scale of a barracuda. Is it the size of a fighter plane or is it like a proper big big boy like spaceship type plane? Are they planes or are they spaceships? Hmm. <laughs> Pretty sure they're planes. They're so cute. They're so flat. Look at that. <laughs> I hope Legion Imperialis is successful enough to make GW do a 40k version of it with Xenos. Not gonna lie. I don't I don't see it coming. I'm not hoping. I'm not I'm not ho holding my hope. Is that the word? <laughs> I haven't got high hopes. There you go. I don't think 
Legion Imperialis is very popular. <laughs> I have seen zero people play it thus far. <laughs> like, Horus Heresy is already such a niche game. I don't know why they decide to make that, but fine. <laughs> Personally, I mean, it would be cool if they started making my favorite little planes again. I would love that, of course, but I'm not. I'm not optimistic. But luckily, there's still a there's still like a decent amount of people selling them online and stuff. And I've got I've got a decent little collection. I've got six barracudas, these little guys here, and I've got four tiger sharks. That's all I need. The only other thing is maybe the drones. They actually have drones for Aeronautic Imperialis. The big ones. Uh, the Remora drones. <laughs> They're teeny tiny. And they would be fun. But they were a Ford World model. Because <laughs> Aeronautic Imperialis had Ford World models for some reason. Gonna keep it alive with 3D printers. L look, like there, there aren't even many STLs for it because no one played the game. <laughs> no one's bothered to make STLs. Oh, you can get Manta as well. You can get a Manta in Aeronautic Imperialis. Um, that was also a four drill model, and I've tried to look for STLs. For an Aeronautica Imperialis Manta. But they're either really ugly <laughs> and like not detailed at all. Um or they're just actual manta STLs that you can't really scale down that much. <laughs> Imagine getting an actual manta model and just cramming it down teeny tiny. It's not gonna work. So uh, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really exist. Hmm. It's fine. I'm happy. I'm happy with my tiny little planes that I got. If I ever find someone selling a a teeny tiny Manta second hand, then hell yeah, that'd be amazing. You know, I'll put a, a I'm gonna put a, a casting call out. If anyone if anyone has or happens to see an Aeronautic Imperialis Manta. It's exactly like the big manta, but tiny. <laughs> a good clickbaiting opportunity. What do you mean a good clickbaiting opportunity? Oh, like I painted a manta! Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I would make a video about that. If someone can get me a Aeronautic Imperialis manta, absolutely, I'll make a video about it. <laughs> I painted a manta, a cow manta, in 30 minutes. <laughs> so, and I'll be a video and I'll talk about Aeronautic Imperialis. Yeah. My friends is trying to convince me to play Aeronautic at 40k scale because I have an excessive quantity of Admech plane. Admech plane? What Admech planes are there? Like the the bloody the freaking Da Vinci plane? The frog? The frog hopping plane? <laughs> oh yeah, board size. Board size might be an issue, yes. <laughs> Um, and when I was looking at Imperialis, you also play on hexes. That would be cool though, having a life size Aeronautic Imperialis. That's like, I've seen people play life size Titanica. Wait, who's calling me? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, someone's calling me. Hold on, one second. Oh shit.
how <laughs> so good so good i painted a whole down man in five minutes <laughs> maybe you got a carpet with a hex pattern <gasps> true that could be fun that would be fun <laughs> imagine no, when I move out, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that on purpose. I'm gonna get a hexagonal carpet that happens to be like the right hex size for playing gigantic aerials like that. <laughs> yeah. Look, I can just hold the plane like that. The flat palm. It's so flat. It's like painting like an actual canvas. It's so flat. It's so cute. I've got a friend as well that is uh, the one that convinced me to get into Aeronautica, <laughs> who um, is painting Aeronautica for Golden Demon, and this is the second time they've done it. <laughs> this is on that Aeronautica grind set. Golden Demon level Aeronautica. <laughs> When I asked him about sorting a board, he just said, don't worry about it, then change the topic of conversation. <laughs> ah, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, just, I'm sure you could adapt the rules to, to work with, I don't know, using tape measure. And you just need a floor without hexes on it. I'm sure you could get some. Um, you could like laser cut one big hex for your plane. Because um, you just need it for like firing arcs. Because you can have forward facing weapons, side and back. So if you get a hex, a big hex base for your plane, uh, to, to get the firing arc. I'm sure you could adapt the rules to do centimeters for the rest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think I've touched up the black. I need to touch up the white. I'm not sure what uh, what color panel lining I want to do. I feel like if I do black, it might be a bit too much. What do you guys think? I do, I do the panel line in black. I could do it like a dark blue. Or I could even panel line white. That might look a bit weird though. <laughs> Whatever feels. Well, I think those are the options. White, blue, black. <laughs> All right. Touching up white. Using. The god tier chimera colors. Chimera black, chimera white, best colors. The only thing they are I've come to realize is they are very matte. Um and chip very easily. So you you definitely definitely want the varnish minis painted with at least the black and white paints. <laughs> they dry very, very matte. Off easy. <laughs> Pick blue? Yeah. I need a dark blue. I could have a look at the actual color scheme if I knew the name of this now. Oh no, I think I got a little tiny, tiny teensy bit of black on my brush. so many little edgy edges that are easy to easy to chip yeah. all right I was talking about the, the collab <laughs> I didn't I didn't finish saying talk about that yeah um 
<laughs> if you did, if you missed it, over on Twitch we did a collab with a with a bunch of a bunch of painters. We had six people, including me. We had me, Hal, Luna Bacon, Country Fried Minis, Skit, and Valvec. We were all painting together. Uh, because we're from time zones all across the world, we had US, EU, and Australia. Um, we had to stream at like the most ungodly hours. <laughs> so I was, we started at midnight for me. Um, so uh, that was that was fun. <laughs> very very late stream. Can confirm God was not present. God was EP. God God had God had definitely gone to eat at that time it's too late it's too late you can't be up past midnight to <laughs> um and we finished at i think past 3 a.m i think we went for three and a bit hours but it was very fun it was very fun the challenge i challenged them all i invited them all to paint a mini in two hours but I added a little twist I added a little twisty twist which was they had to choose each other's colors yes so we went in order and we chose two colors for each other it was two colors for someone else, and they had to use those two colors as their like two main colors. You could do like a teensy bit, like little details in, in other colors, but your main colors had to be those two. Um, my two colors were orange and green, which um, an interesting combination. <laughs> Um, I can tell you the mini in a second. Once I finish with this little guy. Yeah! This is what I got done in two hours. <laughs> with orange and green as my colors. I did green skin. Um and orange orange fur and I did a bit of orange copper yeah that I actually I actually did some weathering on it as well it didn't come off very well it's supposed to go like rusty uh, like greeny blue color like stat it's it was supposed to go like Statue of Liberty color but I think I didn't shake it enough I don't know it's just kind of dirty <laughs> dirty copper Ginger Cow Hulk. <laughs> Might steal that color scheme. Really? <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of a weird, weird... Like, you wouldn't think of doing green for a... A beast man. <laughs> um... But this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Um, and brown? Brown is also orange. Brown is just dark orange. So... <laughs> So I did all the things in brown, and then I added a, a metric ton of of grass stuffs to the base because <laughs> I didn't have time to do any sort of basing paste and wait for it to dry and stuff. So I painted the base brown, and then I just stuck a ton of grass stuffs on it because <laughs> that doesn't have to dry. So yeah. Um, and at the end of the stream, chat voted on their favorite miniature that uh, that they were able to do in two hours. Very Halloween. Oh, it is pretty Halloween. <laughs> this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Um, chat voted on their, on their favorite miniature. They voted on their favorite streamer. You wanna, you wanna guess how many votes I got? <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you how many votes I got, honestly. I think I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that in the air. Uh, I'm gonna leave that a mystery. <laughs> uh, 
Um, you can you can imagine. You can imagine. Pega, master painter. How many votes I got? <laughs> Sixty-nine. <laughs> Just got an ad for ripoff sport. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, it's so weird. Is it? It's like a mobile game ad type video as well, with like some sort of AI generated voice or something. And it's actually just Spore. I wonder if they're trying to... I wonder if they're trying to pull a, a, a PAL world, aren't they? <laughs> Back to PAL world. God, I feel like I'm never going to be happy with... With these the placement of these colors it's so messy and once again i'm not able to go back and fix my base color my base blue color because it's airbrushed all sorts of different colors i've got white i've got some white airbrush a dark blue airbrush and a medium blue airbrush i can't fix it <laughs> oh, <fart>. <laughs> <laughs> it's insanely obvious they just Straight up copy pastes for yeah, it's really weird. It's worse than Power World, way worse than Power World. <laughs> At least Power World has some original design. And but the yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> Have you seen that? Have you guys seen, um, for anyone that still uses Twitter? <laughs> no idea how they didn't already get sued? No clue. <laughs> for anyone that still uses Twitter, have you seen, like, Twitter ads? They're so bad. They're based in foreign countries and hard to track down. Nice. <laughs> it's just an illegal operation. Um, hold on. I need to, uh, I need to varnish these now. It's varnishing time. I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard real quick and blue tack them down. One second. I got a nice piece of cardboard. Look at my cardboard. Look how cool my cardboard is. This thing's like a piece of wood. Look how thick that is. A thick piece of cardboard. <laughs> it's like the special idea honeycomb cardboard. No wood. What a chill stream. Anyway, as an active Twitter user, unfortunately, <laughs> what was I saying? Stop Twitter ads. Twitter ads are so bad. It's all dropshipping nonsense and uh, all dropshipping in crypto. And I, I can't believe people are still into crypto, man. <laughs> crypto is dead. NFTs are dead. Okay. I don't know why they're still advertising on Twitter. Of course the kinds of people that would still buy crypto um, are on Twitter. <laughs> I suppose. Crypto drop tripping and OnlyFans. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. And the amount of bots. Scam bots. Is so annoying for commissions and stuff. Twitter, where else would they advertise? Yeah, that's true. They, ha they can't advertise anywhere else. Twitter's, Twitter's the last place they could go to promote crypto uh, scams. <laughs> and they like, the, they legit look so scammy. Like, it'll be a... Like, an obviously fake... 
picture of like a DM or something, or like someone's crypto wallet being like, Oh, I got free crypto by you following this link. That's the ad. <laughs> yep. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go varnish the lads. Me and the boys. Me and the boys. Okay. I'll be right back, chat. Okay. Um. Daz Shift is in charge of chat. Uh, make sure make sure they behave. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Toad's in charge. Toad, Toad's a mod. Um, you, sh you, you should be in charge of chat. Daz is in charge of. Uh, is in charge of chat. Okay. <laughs> I'll be I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Be nice. I won't be long. Thank you. 
Hello, I'm back. Wait, why is check on? Hold on, wait, uh, wait, hold on, uh, oh, hold on, there we go. <sighs> I have the plane. They've been varnished. They stinky. <laughs> Cheese posting! You cheese posting while I was gone! <laughs> Scatter! Hey! <laughs> what were you doing? You cheese posting! You're making cheese puns again! No! <laughs> this is the police state. No! No! I hope that Shift did a good job of, of looking up the chat while I was gone. <laughs> I have some very smelly little planes. It's also raining outside. Um, so... I don't know. Some of them look a little bit textured. Like, you can see, you can see a bit of a texture to them. Kind of, kind of weird. Um, I kind of don't want to touch them. Because it's probably still wet. <laughs> I hope it's okay though. You can always do another another layer later after the after the oil washies. In the meantime, we can start mixing some oil washes. Jeez! It's cheese in time. Hold up, where's my <laughs> Okay. I want to touch it. I want to touch it so bad. Oh, it's kind of dry. The drones still spin. That's the most important part. <laughs> Alright, I'll put them to the side. So I, I stop touching them. i to wait for them to fully dry. Wait for them to dry. And we can just boil water. One very small cup. Yes. <laughs> Wash them with cheese color. Oh my god. What kind of cheese? There's a lot of different cheese colors. There's you can get you can get orange cheese. You can get yellow cheese. You can get white cheese. A cup of cheese. <laughs> a cup of melted cheese. Yellow. What shade of yellow? Like, like plastic. Uh, a cheese slice yellow or like like uh <laughs> like a parmesan yellow like a I don't know there's a lot of different yellow there's a lot of different cheeses a lot of different cheeses you get red cheese that isn't actually red you get red Leicester cheese it's more orange than red though <laughs> With all the colours of the cheese. Mm -hmm. I see. Oh! Why did it just... Why did it put both of my links? At... Why did it put both of the links at the same time? Stream elements? Chill. Chill, bro. <laughs> Baby Bell is kind of red in a way. That's wax. That's not part of the cheese. You're not eating the wax, are you? <laughs> that's not that's not cheese. The red part of the baby bell is not cheese. <laughs> Fellas, do you peel your baby bells before eating them? <laughs> baby bell. No, but it wouldn't be the same without it. Mm, cheery. Baby bell is pretty pretty fucking good. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a dark blue wash, that's what I'm doing. You can peel them? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I swear. You better this you better be memeing. I I, I swear. Okay. I'm getting black. 
I'm gonna do a bit of black. Oh. Ah, delicious. A little bit of black. And ultramarine blue or potato blue? Let's do a bit of potato blue. Yes. There isn't really a light blue colour. I might mix this with a bit of white as well. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how how black it goes with this much black. I think I might have put too much black. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh yeah, dude, that black completely overpowered the blue. <laughs> There's no blue left. Rip blue. <laughs> 07 for blue in chat. Rip a good one. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to mix so much oil wash now. I put way too much paint in this. <laughs> Not the blue. The blue. I'm gonna need so much blue now. I don't know what it is. It's the, it kind of grosses me out how how like thick. The paint comes out of the tube and just like hangs there, like a like a booger. Oh my god! When I paint it on the cup, you can see there is there is there is blue in there. Just eat the spare. Oh, cheeky little shot! <laughs> a cheeky little shot of poison. No. We're not shotting the poison chat. <laughs> Delish. Alright, making a, a lovely little cocktail. I'm gonna close this before I actually spill it all over my um fuck. Just, hold on. <laughs> there we go. Close that off. <laughs> there we go. We want this to be a wash consistent. My wife was little, she ate her first baby bell unpeeled. <laughs> Aww. I'm sure we've all tried it at some point. I'm sure we've all had a cheeky little taste test of the baby bell peel, right? Just, just to make sure. Just to, just to see what it, just see what it tastes like. What is baby bell cheese even? Look at that. That's like a dark blue color. What is baby bell cheese? Is it just like a cheddar? Is it like what's what makes what makes a baby bell a baby bell? What is the essence of baby bell? <laughs> just me. You guys didn't. Didn't, didn't taste your a baby bell whack at any point in your life. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna add a touch of white. Desaturate the blue slightly. You know how lamb is baby sheep? <laughs> it's like that, but with bells. <gasps> what? They're slaughtering the baby bells for our cheese? Oh no, I didn't even know cheese. I didn't know bells grew on plants. I didn't know bells were cheese. Oh no. What's. Well, you know, in, in Animal Crossing, the bells do grow on trees. Hmm. So you could have a baby bell. <laughs> You didn't know they could be peeled, so you just ate the wig. <laughs> there we go, that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice colour. Look at that. Pretty, pretty neat. Blue wash, I reckon. Maybe a bit thick. But if I add more medium to it, it's gonna be way too much wash. I don't need this much wash. It's <laughs> for six little planes. 
Same- okay, like, do you guys know, like, the cow cheese? <laughs> I mean, all cheeses from cows, but like, the... The cow cheese? <laughs> you guys know the cow cheese. Do you know what I'm talking about? They're like the little little cheese wedges, the little individually wrapped cheese wedges. They come in a cheese wheel, the individually wrapped wedges of cheese. Laughing cow. Yes, the cow cheese. <laughs> what about goat cheese? No, I'm talking about the cow cheese. Laughing cow. Dude, that's good. I love the I love the laughing cow cheese. But um. But that one, you can tell it's like a, it's like a soft cream cheese. Baby Bell is like a whole, a whole league of its own in terms of cheese flavor. Like, Laughing Cow Cheese is like a, like a cream cheese, you know. Just making sure, double checking this is probably closed, it's not gonna leak. Putting this away. He said all the cheese comes from cows, Oh. Okay, there is goat's cheese. <laughs> what else could you make cheese from? You can make cheese from a lot of things. Surely you could make... Cat cheese. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> Alright. I reckon, I reckon these little guys are... ...sufficiently varnished. I didn't do the bottom side. I don't know if I need to do the bottom. Maybe, maybe I should. Maybe I should do the bottom side as well. <laughs> I want to. I want to make sure these things never chip ever again. I was just kind of hoping the varnish would would go to the bottom as well. <laughs> You've made cheese. I've made cheese as well once. We made mozzarella at home. We bought a cheese making kit from somewhere. And we made mozzarella. Yeah. Any milk? Yeah. You can make you can make cheese from any milk. You ready? Okay, okay. I'm gonna manage, I'm gonna manage the bottom side. I'll be quick. This time I'll be I'll be quicker. I've only got a little bit. Cat cheese? I'm just saying, theoretically you could make cheese from cat from cat milk. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back, chat. Okay. Uh, Balthazar's in charge of chat. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm back. Jeez, cheese posting. You can cheese post when I'm here as well. I want to be. I want to be part of the cheese posting. Why are you keeping me out of the cheese posting? <laughs> yeah, I think I. I think I saw the the Max Fosh making cheese from Mr. Beast. Was it Mr. Beast? I think it was someone else. I think it was like some other football person. I don't know. Oh, cheese pizza? 
pizza. <laughs> mm, pizza. Way too for it to dry. Because I'm a patient cat. I'm so patient. I'm such a good patient cat. Mr. Beast. Oh, and KSI. That's right. They milked Mr. Beast? Yeah. Who hasn't milked Mr. Beast on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> he milked Mr. Beat. Best Zelda song? Is this a Zelda song? I love this song. It's the best song. <laughs> Got a family in Mexico that makes queso fresco. What's queso? Mm, it's dry enough. It's dry enough. <laughs> so patient. So patient. Yeah. Oh no, the blue tack was too sticky. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Marlo Mart. Oh my god. Best Nintendo song ever. It's delicious. Definitely got sick from eating too much as a kid. Oh, <laughs> my favorite cheese gotta be buffalo mozzarella. Mm! Where, where, where um my family lives in Italy, um they they make a lot of buffalo mozzarella in like country Italy. There's a lot of buffalo buffalo farms that make buffalo mozzarella and it's fucking delicious. <gasps> oh no! Ah! I tore a bit of the paint up! Oh no! Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna have to fix that. What up? Oh jeez! <laughs> Queso does not! Ah! God damn it. Oh jeez, at least it only came off the white. I don't have to try fixing that blue. Wait, why is it textured? Wait, what the hell? Is it just blue tech? What is, what, what is going on here? Wait, what? I think the blue tech is like melted. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Well, I've got a slightly textured plane, I guess. Okay, it, it's fine. <laughs> Oops, that that's weird. I guess uh, the varnish was not dry. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. Oh well. <laughs> mm, favorite is old Amsterdam. It's an aged Gouda. Gouda is, Gouda is very good. <laughs> I don't like I don't like blue cheese. I'm I'm a I'm a pussy cat. <laughs> I don't like blue cheese. How do you say cheese in Italian? Formaggio. Formaggio. Okay, say cheese. Say it with me, chat. Formaggio. Can you point to the formaggio? <laughs> <laughs> and mozzarella is also an Italian word. Mozzarella is Italian. Alright, I'm not sure how I'm going to approach this blue oil wash. Should I try and be accurate and do li little pins and then clean up? Or should I just cover the whole thing? Make it slightly dirty? No, I'm gonna do the pins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my time 
and put some time into it and make, make it good. Queso equals cheese in Spanish. Ah, oh, you said to be more overlap. No. Yeah, it's weird. I did not know that. Did you get the manta? I would love the manta. I'm putting a call out. I'm putting a bounty on 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 a on an aeronautic imperialis manta. <laughs> if anyone can find me an aeronautic imperialis manta, um, I will, uh, I will take it, please. <laughs> um, and I'll make a video from it. If anyone can find one for me. <gasps> oh my god, it's oil washing time. It's oh boy, oh it's time. It's time for this. It's satisfied time. Satisfying time. Watch this. <gasps> oh yeah. Ah, oh. I freaking love oil washes, man. <laughs> and it's actually flowing so well. It's not. It's not actually leaving many marks from my brush, which is great. And less, less cleanup. That's what we do. I'm gonna do my best to get it neat and tidy right now. But if I make any mistakes, I can leave it overnight and come back tomorrow and wipe it off with a little bit of sponge and a little bit of medium, a little bit of mineral spirits, flesh. Oil, any medium, whatever you use, turpentine, <laughs> and then you can wipe it off. Hi, Sam. Yes. So I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to keep this in focus for the super, the super satisfying. Oh, that one didn't flow as much. <laughs> Oh, my brush is so full. Yeah, okay, I don't need that one. There we go. Oh, yes. I'm definitely gonna have to clean off that white. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You know what's weird? I'm like... Kind of excited to go to class tomorrow. For once, I actually feel like... I'm on top of things in terms of uni. I'm behind in a lot of other things. <laughs> but I feel like I'm on top of uni. Good. Good. And it's Sunday and we're chilling and I'm doing some funny little tiny play. The best games shop miniatures. Wait, what is that? Something on the wing. Like a bit of grass stuff or something? Hold on. Get, get off. Wait. <laughs> yeah. You're, oh, you're down in the dumps. Oh, jeez. That's no good. Why are you down in the dump? Get out! Get out of the trash can! It's stinky. Ah! Oh my god. Um, I think I need to get a a matte varnish as well. The this this is a satin varnish, so it's in between in between matte and gloss. But it's still a bit too glossy for my liking, I think. Oh boy. So I think it would be I think it would be valid to get, to get matte varnish and go over this after all the oil washes. Also, I'm gonna put a mask on.
I think this is a mask on type. This is a mask on type of job. <laughs> it's very, very stinky. And even though I don't know if you need a respirator for working with oils, it is very stinky. <laughs> Uh, better safe than sorry. Oh. <laughs> Get mask stream! Mask stream. This is me when I'm not being a cat girl on the internet. This is a real mask on the moment. <laughs> You guys always get my mask off side. <laughs> oh yes. I I think I can be pretty messy with this. Like it's not it's not actually leaving too much behind, it's getting right into those recesses. Hmm. No one cared who Pega was until she put on the mask! No one cared. Even in a society. Babe! I'm... Pega! Pain! <laughs> Feel are falling for a trap of getting likes on projects I post, not making you feel good. Therefore, I've decided to not post about any project I'm doing for a while. That's a healthy choice. That's a healthy choice. It's a it's an interesting interesting discussion as well. Interesting to talk about. Um, when you're posting pictures of your minis on Instagram or anywhere. If you're posting pictures of your mini online, a lot of the time it's not about the quality of your paint job. A lot of the time what gets liked is, well first of all photography is very very important and that's a whole separate skill to miniature painting. You can have some amazing miniature painters that I have no idea how to take nice photos of their miniatures, and no one can see them properly. Um, but even if you've got good photography, social media as well, people don't realize it, social media is like a whole skill of its own as well. And I talked about it in my motivation tips video. But social media is a, is a whole whole skill of its own, you know, learning about the algorithm and, you know, hashtags and posting time and stuff like that. And if you want to get more likes on your pictures, you're actually like better off learning how to do social media better than just learning how to paint better. <laughs> You just watch some watch some videos on like how to how to build an audience on Instagram or how to build an audience on Twitter, etc. etc. And in essence it's just post regularly, provide value to your, your viewers. So if you put like a little bit of value you could give is just writing about how you painted something in the description. I don't know. You want to provide value to people. You want to give people a reason to like your post and come back later. You can do little tutorials on Instagram. But if that's not what you care about, if you don't, if you don't want to do all that, then you don't have to. You can just keep painting miniatures. When I first started, I didn't get many likes on my pictures. Like, I'd, I'd be excited if I got like 10 likes on my Instagram post. But it's, 
the fall out is a lot of work. You just don't want to continue and have a burnout and lose my love and passion for this hobby outside of an else age. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you shouldn't. You shouldn't let social media. You shouldn't let social media get you down. From. Can't be a ministry. Can't let social media stop you from doing what you love. The hard thing about it is that, like, people that are good at it make it seem effortless. People that are good at, at, at social media, building an audience online, they, they make it seem effortless, and that's kind of the point. You don't want to, you don't want to look like you're trying hard. <laughs> you know, you want to be chill. It might, it might look easy, but it's, it's a lot harder, and it takes a lot, a lot of time. Some people might blow out, like, out of thin air, just because of, I know, dumb luck, algorithms, uh, <laughs> or they're just in a, you know, a privileged position where they know people who can give them a head start, etc. Um, and those people can blow up too. Mm -hmm. Most people, most people online take years to do any sort of following. Like, years. And that's something I remind myself as well. Ah! Hell yeah. Breakfast. You better keep thanking me. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to become obsessed with it, though. Like, everyone, everyone wants to be a, everyone wants to be famous on the internet. Because it looks so easy. And you can you can win you can win at capitalism you can break free from from the system don't need a boss you can you can work whenever you want you can do whatever you want but it's it's not quite like that <laughs> you are just being a, a, a freelancer. <laughs> you, you're, you're just self-employed. Not that cool. <laughs> and it's hard when your life revolves around something. I really think we should like eat like media literacy as phrase or like social media stuff like in school. I don't know. I feel like it's very very important. Very important to know. Hmm. All right. I don't know if it's bad that I'm getting this on my fingers. I don't know if it's good for my fingers to be touching the poison. Does <laughs> poison? Do you get poisoned if you? Touch poison. <laughs> or poison only if you eat it.
it's like venomous versus poisonous. <laughs> venomous is when you get bit. Poisonous is if you bite it. Depends on the poison. Mm. I see. What about artist oil thinner? Oh my god, I had way too much paint there. Ah! I'm, I, I, like I've just been, I just, I've just been getting progressively more sloppy with this oil wash. So like, oh, I could just get rid of it later, I could just clean it up later, it's fine. It'll come off. That's the beauty. The power of oil washes. How many people have chat? How many of you guys have tried oil washes before? Are you scared of trying oil washes? They're good licking your hands, but you're not using it and you should be okay. Alrighty. Lick hands. Don't clean. <laughs> Lick hands and bum? Maybe. You're scared of them? Yeah, it's pretty scary. <laughs> it is pretty scary. I, w I was also scared of oil paint for a very long time. They're so good though. So worth it. And it it's not hard. It's technically not hard. You just need to buy some stuff. Just need to buy some oil paints and some thinner, and then and you're good to go. And it doesn't even cost that much. But um, I'm a little paranoid about not dying, <laughs> not getting poisoned. Yeah. Well, actually, I know someone. I know someone who does oil painting. And they're never wearing a mask. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> hey, do you have any tips for using spray paints to prime minis? Uh. I don't know, you just spray it? <laughs> uh, read the instructions on the can. Check how far away you should be from the mini. For spraying. Because if you're too close or you're too far away from the mini, uh, it can clump up or not stick on well. Uh, you want to make sure you shake your cans. I don't, I don't shake it for very long, honestly. Like I will grab my minis. I'll stick my minis on my cardboard. I'll grab them, and I'll grab the the primer and I'll just like shake it while I'm walking outside and then take it for a little bit outside and then and then start spraying. I don't shake for like a whole few minutes or whatever. <laughs> Dude I get tired. I get tired of shaking that much. <laughs> hey. You've even done actual oil painting and I've left over oil paint so I really don't want to have to deal with the varnishing and toxins and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Varnishing, varnishing is great though. Even if you don't plan to do oil paint, varnish is is, is very good. Just a lot. Protect your minis. Seal everything in. It also just like kind of makes it look. It it makes it look a bit different. Um, I think it makes the colors pop. A little bit more. I don't know how. Um, also, whenever I varnish it, for some reason, like 
it like highlights my mistakes. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I've got like magic, magic uh, mistake showing varnish. <laughs> Or maybe it's just the mentality of like, oh no, I can't go back and fix it now. But I feel like I realized so many more mistakes after varnishing it. <laughs> but maybe it's because maybe it's because the colors pop more, and it's like, oh, I can really see them now. <laughs> yes. There you go. Oh, there you go. Some actual priming tips. <laughs> Spray from about four arm away, it's better to get speckly coverage than overspray. Yes, definitely. Uh, don't worry if they look too gloopy after first priming. Primer shrinks a little. Yeah, a little bit. But definitely, definitely don't overdo it. That's a pain in the ass. I've done that before. You have to strip it. Found in priming using a spray can, I really like holding the mini in a gloved hand. Oh, yes! Yeah, using a gloved hand for big minis is a good idea. If you have lots of mid little minis, definitely stick them on a piece of cardboard. Blue crack or something. Or tape. Um, I was gonna say, I do have another priming tip. Um, yes. Oh, yes. Definitely do lots of, lots of little spurts. You don't want to do lots of. You don't want to do one big spurt, because then you're going to over prime it. You're gonna you're gonna clog up all those details. Um, it's gonna be too thick. You do like, and you're like constantly moving the mini. Oops. You're like a real a real like graffiti artist. <laughs> Varnish makes the light reflect off the model differently that will make things pop more. Oh! Depends on the varnish though. Let's see. Either that was voodoo wizard magic. <laughs> Did something similar first, but ended up uh, wanting more control. Yeah. Um, also different different spray cans, different brands will feel a bit different. Uh, like the Citadel ones. Citadel, I think it's a lot, the spray cans are a lot easier to use. They have like one very big circular sort of spray coverage. Uh, Vallejo ones, they have better colors. They have a bit of a smaller area. I think Vallejo, I prime a little bit closer to the mini. Still, still not very close. It's very, very subtle differences. But they, there are differences. Feel a lot more confident about spraying my first few minis now. Well, gee Willy, I'm so glad you were able to get some pro miniature painting tips from this pro painting live stream. Just another satisfied customer. <laughs> Start with easy to reach areas is more likely that you'll clog up when trying to get the hard to reach areas. Wait, what? Yes. Oh, yes. You can start with just like a big, like if you have a line of miniatures on your piece of cardboard, you can go maybe a couple times across the front, do like a few on top and then a few on the back, a little bit on the sides. And then you can sort of have a look around and see what bits aren't primed yet and kind of do it from like those, those different angles. Car. Hi Bryce! Why am I wearing the mask? I put the mask back on. I've been... I've been a naughty cat. <laughs> they tried to stop me from shit talking on the internet but it's not working. That's why. Because I'm doing oil paint. That's why. <laughs> oh, but I didn't get cheddar on my mask. Oh no! Poor boy's getting all this thing. Oh, cheddar no! Oh no, poor cheddar. Hold on. 
Yeah, that's fine. Cheddar can get poisoned. <laughs> he, can, he can deal with it. <laughs> I don't think Cheddar is like sentient. Like he he has he has no no brain cells there. Like look at that look at that face. I don't think he's a I don't think he's like a living creature. Look at that, look at that dumb little guy. <laughs> Master of the Good Pig is finally embracing the way of the Omnissiah. Realized the flesh. says in you the flesh is a leaf from the man and I will I asked flesh tide of orange I have her place my voice in my daughter I am with I trust in the yes <laughs> what if the voice changes? <laughs> voice mod. I'm using voice mod. It's pretty sick. <laughs> I pray the strength and certainty of cheese. 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 It's gone. <laughs> I got it. Read it. Won't let me read it anymore. <laughs> God damn it! Where are you? From the moment I did read the bubble thing. 
<laughs> Someone needs to send me the full copy part of the Tom Reddit. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> also Legion's dead game because you know you didn't have enough stuff. Instead of printing more, the basic stuff brought out in these stuff. What? I don't know anything about Legion's Imperialis. But honestly, I think Legion's Imperialis was was dead. On arrival. <laughs> I don't think anyone was going to play Legion's Imperialis, not going to lie. Is it okay if I use a military grade gas mask to paint? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the grades of gas mask, honestly. Or oh, respirators is probably the better, the better word. I don't know the difference. <laughs> You've got different masks to filter out different things. If it wasn't 30k, it would have done way better. Yeah! I think so too. 30k is just so neat. 40k way more popular. Keeps out the fumes, but you can't see a damn thing. <laughs> well. Gotta look after yourself. <laughs> I can't buy game web Yeah, of course, but like... You can also just not play game if you don't care. <laughs> I, I... I don't know. I kind of feel like they didn't print much stock because they didn't expect many people to play it, but also I don't know anything. Okay, best setting, no aliens. Shut up, you're biased. Dude, no one plays 30k. <laughs> There's like two people that play 30k, and one of them is you. <laughs> 30k dead. Mini 30k should not exist. <laughs> they also just look like really hard to paint. Like they're tiny, they're teeny tiny. I don't know how you paint that many teeny teeny tiny guys. <laughs> It's impossible, I'm telling you. No, no one can do that. Alright. I'm not sure how to clean the oil paint from my brush, because like, obviously oil doesn't come off with water. Maybe I should dip it like, in the medium. I've already dipped it in water now. I don't want to like, dirty up my my medium. I'll give it a little red. I'll give it a little red. It's not really coming off still. <laughs> I've just got a blue brush now. It's fine. You'd like to play 30k? Mechanicum looks much more interesting than 40k Admac at the moment. That's fair. But also Fucking overpriced. <laughs> Actually, five people now who play 30k. Wow. Susan's kids want to join in? S Susan. Who's Susan? <laughs> Susan leaves a note? I don't know. <laughs> The 30k Mechanicum does look cool. 30k Mechanicum, Mechanicum, Admic. Big, big robot. I've lost my cap! I've lost my cap for my brat! God damn it, every time. Every friggin' time. You heard 30k Mechanicum, not the rest of it though. Augmentations are too strong, I'm so sorry. Um, I was just saying they look cool. The big robo goes. Virgin 30k Space Marines versus Chad Mechanicum. So true. The coolest thing about the Horus Heresy is everything apart from the Space Marines. <laughs> I found it. Unfortunately, Space Marines 
because 30k is all about space <laughs> Um, so... Titan gods look cool as well. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt to take my mask off. It's a real mask off moment! <gasps> what does this think? <laughs> mm, I think it's fine. <laughs> I think it's all right now. Hmm. Ah! Expel the fresh air again. Yippee! All those panel lines. All right. I'm gonna have to wait for them to dry overnight now, and then I can clean them up. Yeah. Solo Xelia look cooler than God. They're the same thing. <laughs> 30k mechanic and got all the ultimates on it. 40k mechanic and one slash need. Yeah! They should bring them for 40k. Let me give you a let me give you a close-up of these planes. Um but I'm done. I'm done I'm done painting. I'm done painting for the stream. We can we can chill for a bit. Hey. Look at these dudes. They're so glossy, so shiny, so shiny and wet right now. Um, <laughs> they will be better. They will be better. But don't worry. The 30 mechanic might be coming to plastic. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Allegedly. <laughs> From the one tiny little teaser. I hope so, given they added the cybernetic sub type in 40k. Oh? That's cool. That's very cool. Will they be bringing dark mech? That would that would be very cool. I would I would jump on dark ad mech in an instant. Take off that mech, hell yeah! It's the only thing that could be cooler than ad mech. Take off that. <laughs> it turns out to be ad mech coming to mini 30k. I'm gonna write. I know, right? <laughs> I might, dude. If if Sigma fourth edition Sigma comes out and it's really shit, and if they make Mechanicum for tiny heresy, I think I might quit Warhammer on tonight. <laughs> There's nothing else. Healing classes are hard. Oh yes, definitely. Um, I'm so worried about Sigma. I am so worried about my baby Sigma. That being said, they removed our servitor and split the dragon in two? Because making a second new model was too much for them, Lord. What? Split the dragon? What dragon? If there was supposed to be a book that let you play 30k Mechanicum in... Wait, there was supposed to be a book that let you play 30k Mechanicum in 40k five years ago? What happened to that? How do you know that? <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm really worried about Sigma. They use a lot of the language they were using for 40k 10th edition. Um, and while 10th edition 40k has been very profitable and popular with the new kids, uh, it has has been a lot simpler to learn. It's it's lost so much flavor. <laughs> it's just not fun. I don't know. It's just a lot of rules. Nothing. <laughs> the creator passed away and GW scrapped the project. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, man. That's what we're supposed to get. Cool ad making for the kid. Damn. Um, but a lot, of, a lot of the things they took like 40k 10th edition I think took a lot of inspiration from Sigma um, in the way they simplified it and now I'm worried well, they, they they made Sigma but worse but worse like, in, in 40k 10th edition I don't know man. Um, and I love Sigma 3rd edition and I like me and other people have also been worrying about this 
for a while. We've been like, dude, 30... <laughs> I mean, Sigma 3rd Edition is so good. It's so balanced and so much fun. Um, I, I don't know if they can if they can make it any better with a new edition. <laughs> so we've been worried for a while. Uh, about what they're, what they're gonna try and doing to our perfect game! <laughs> you know that, Pega? Because I'm a boomer. Oh, so you're finally getting the true 40k playing experience? Hating the new edition? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a UK thing. If the creator can't finish the project because of death, they scrap it. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't have anyone else that cared. <laughs> so, Bly loved the ad mech and wanted the range to I don't know. Is that the person? Is the reason ad mech is so scary lopsided at the moment? The book was meant to add. Oh, the other side of ad mech stuff. Oh, I see. I used to play third edition regardless, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. But we're not going to get any new, like, uh, like mission stuff, and we're not gonna get any new, um, um, um uh, general's handbook. That's it. <laughs> Though the latest general handbook, I really didn't like. That one's uh, that one's really lame. But the previous ones have all been have all been great, and they and like the general's handbooks are so good for mixing up the meta. And it gave like every army a chance to be good at some point during third edition Sigma, which is great. When I started playing, like right at the beginning of the edition, it was all about like big stompy monsters. So like gargants and stuff. But like, the gargants were pretty busted at the beginning, <laughs> at least for like new players. Gargants suck. Um, they're really good. But then. The, the next general handbook, I forgot what the next one was. There was one about like little guys, oh there was one about heroes. Um, the current one is about wizards but it's really bad because <laughs> it's way too specific about what kinds of wizards. Um, and has like no support for people that don't have wizards. <laughs> You're still playing 40k 4th edition based chaos codex? I've heard that. Yes, I'm keeping I'm keeping my third edition Sigma book. <laughs> just in case, you know, just in case. But I have I have faith. I'm putting my heart into the into the Sigma design team because they've made a fantastic third edition. Way better than 40k. <laughs> Way better than the 40k rules team. So um I'm I'm I I'm putting my faith in them and I, I hope they can they can pull it off. For another edition. <laughs> You're getting into AOS three years ago and then the edition changed and it didn't give a shit anymore. Why? What? <laughs> I mean that that doesn't that, I don't think that really reflects on the edition. I think that just reflects on your interest in Age of Sigma. <laughs> it just sounds like you're not very interested in Sigma. I don't know. That is very good. Was three years ago still the second edition? Second edition was also good. Look at Haley! I'm Santa Shouts Boo. Ah! And I'm full of fear. I'm so full of fear. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm about to finish up. We're finishing up, homies. Three years ago was the end of second edition, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, second edition was bad. That was also when I started. I started at the end of second. I had, like, a little bit of time playing with second. And then I got edition. I got way too many storm storm cast. <laughs> Two elements is shilling hard today. Yeah, I know. You better click on those affiliate links. Go buy your plastic crack. Be free. <laughs> click on the links. You have the energy to relearn the rules again. Why are you still playing 40k? <laughs> That, that's just that's just bad to happen. <laughs> that's just Warhammer. That's just tabletop gaming. Like, yeah, that's that's fair. Not wanting to relearn the rules, but they are very good. <laughs> Sigma. Um, that's also just a normal thing that happens. 
I think that's very specific to Sigma. It's not very specific to the argument of that Sigma is uh, obviously better than Poike. Every single way. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna head I'm gonna head off and it's been a lovely time. It's been a great time. I'm so glad we got to we got to do the little funny play. And I'm gonna clean them up tomorrow morning. Well, maybe. Maybe it'll be Tuesday. Go back to six year edition cycles. Can you imagine six years of ninth edition? Fuck oh, no. <laughs> Okay, you know what? If it's a bad edition, I think we can we can we can kill it in three years. I think ninth edition should have ended in two years. <laughs> I think that's when it really started going downhill. Um, tenth edition. I think tenth edition. We can kill tenth edition in in three years. But I think we should have uh, six years of third edition. I think third edition can last forever. Honestly, <laughs> return, re reject modernity. Return to classic or whatever. Okay, I <laughs> can't wait to see you finger paint add mech, I paint a mech, I know I'm not painting, I'm never painting a mech, I'm not painting my beautiful mech boys with my paint. <laughs> Go back to making a good game. Oh wait, they've never done that. <laughs> There's always been up and down. I think uh, there's certainly rose tinted, a lot of rose tinted glassing and a lot of nostalgia nostalgia -ing. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyway, yes! Uh, you should, you should, you should check out all the, all the little linkies. Look, uh, you see all the little linkies there. Twitch.tv slash peganogo. Instagram.com slash peganogo. And Twitter.com slash peganogo. You should check those out. And peganogo.creator.hyperspring.com mm -hmm. And my affiliate links in the description. You should check those. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Middle Earth is fantastic. <laughs> Middle Earth. Oh my god. Warhammer Underworlds is good to be fair. Oh, I love Warhammer Underworlds, but it's, yeah, it's way more of a board game. Same with Aeronautic Imperialis. Aeronautic Imperialis is too much of a board game as well. You remember when ice cream was 50 cents? Yeah, I remember when a Macca's soft serve was 50 cents. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna help. Also, you should join this book, and you should use my affiliate links. Uh, whenever you're, whenever you're buying some, some fun Warhammer stuff, if you're ever buying miniatures or paints or anything like that in Australia, you should you should shop at Vol Games or Get Games, um, because uh, then then I get money. <laughs> you should use my link. If you're gonna buy the stuff anyway, you should you should, yeah, you should support me. Yeah. Um and um 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 um. um and also Chronicle Cards. If you ever want some sick wolf bristle brushes, I've been using wolf bristle brushes all stream this stream in case you didn't know. So you should check out Chronicle Cards. I have an affiliate link. Chronicle Cards now. So, um, you should use that one as well. Mm. Mm. But you can also get them from all games and get games. So you can get Chronicle Cards, wolf bristle brushes from all three of the affiliate links. Oh my god. There's so many options. So many options. Yeah. <laughs> What's everyone's favorite? Pega! Yours is Pega Neko. It better not be Pega the hot dog. <laughs> objectively the worst. <laughs> the worst Pega. Okay. Anyway, I'm done. I'm going, I'm going. Good night! Good night, Jeff! Bye! Bye night! See you later. Mm -hmm. Schedule will be posted for next week. Yay. We'll be streaming on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday.